Hello friends, in this video, we will see how to use SMS Server in Servum UCS. Matrix Servum UCS is an enterprise grade unified communication solution that offers collaboration, communication, messaging and mobility to improve an organization's agility and productivity. Matrix Servum UCS has SMS Server facility which provides services of SMS to email and email to SMS. Using SMS Server application, you can send SMS from your email client to a single recipient or a group of recipients that is email to SMS. Receive SMS in the inbox of your email client for a sender that is SMS to email. Send bulk SMS to multiple recipients. Requirements for SMS to email and email to SMS are SMS server license, SMS server firmware, Servum UCS GSM card with SIM inserted in the slot to send SMS, New email account with an empty inbox, Stationary internet connection to Servum UCS, Disabled SMPP server in Servum UCS. Let us start with the configuration. We will complete the configuration in 4 steps. Mail settings, that is SMTP and POP3 settings, email to SMS settings and format, SMS to email settings and format, email account settings. Let us start with the first step. Servum UCS supports all the major SMTP servers. We will use Yahoo SMTP server in this case. You can also use your customized mail server if available in your organization. Go to SMS server followed by mail settings. Click SMTP configuration. If your email server uses authentication, select requires authentication as yes. To transport your data securely, select enable secure socket layer SSL as yes. Configure display name. This name will be displayed to the recipient. Configure the email ID user ID and password. Configure the SMTP server address and SMTP server port. Submit the page and test the SMTP settings.
if the configuration and connection is correct we will receive a test mail on the configured email account go to pop3 configuration if your email server uses authentication select requires authentication as yes to transport your data securely select enable secure socket layer ssl as yes Configure the POP3 server address and POP3 server port. Submit and test the POP3 settings. If the configuration and connection is correct, a success message will appear. in test status This completes the first step Let us move to second step for email to sms settings Go to sms server followed by general parameters Enable SMS server. Configure the mobile port for sending SMS. There will be two options available: using fixed port to send the SMS using a fixed SIM card or a group of SIM cards. Based on LCR table, to send the SMS on the basis of least cost routing, that is LCR table configured. Click send SMS. Select the mobile ports to send the SMS. Check rotation if you want to send the SMS from the SIM cards in rotation. Go to email to SMS forwarding section. Check email to SMS forwarding. Check email to SMS forwarding for external users if you want to give the facility of SMS server to external users as well which are not registered in the PBX. If you want to add a footer or signature in the SMS check send footer signature in sms and select the desired type now let us see how to send sms from your email client to send an sms you must send the email to the sms server in a specific format you can use any email client to send an sms open your email client to compose an email in the to field enter the email id of the sms server configured in servum ucs in the subject field enter the name user configured in pbx or the number of the person to whom the sms is to be sent in the body 
enter the message to be sent to the recipient. We can send an SMS of 1280 characters at maximum. If the message is composed of 160 characters or less, it will be sent as a single SMS, otherwise it will be sent as multiple SMSs. To send your identity to the recipient, make sure that the option of footer signature is enabled as explained earlier. Click send. The recipient will receive the SMS on his or her mobile phone. Similarly, to send SMS to multiple recipients, enter the names and or numbers of multiple recipients in the subject field separated with a comma or a semicolon. For example, Steve Smith 9898156789. This completes the second step. Let us move to third step for SMS to email settings. Go to SMS to email forwarding. Enable SMS to email forwarding. Configure default recipient in default recipient of email when recipient is not specified in SMS. Email will be sent to this email address when the SMS is replied without mentioning the recipient. Now, let us see how to reply to an SMS. While replying to the SMS, user has to send the SMS in a specific format. Body, enter information in the following format to colon email ID or extension number of the recipient Sub colon content of the SMS. Send this SMS to the number of the SIM inserted in Servum UCS. When message is received by a mobile port of the Servum UCS, it sends SMS to the respective recipient as an email. The recipient will receive the email in the following format. From field contains the email address of the SMS server, the to field contains the email ID of recipient, the subject contains the name and or number of the sender, the body contains the message content. This completes the third step. Let us move to the fourth step. This step is necessary if the user is using Gmail SMTP server. Go to my account followed by sign in and security settings.
enable allow less secure apps on note this flag will not be visible if two step verification is enabled for the account this completes the entire configuration thank you for watching this video for further queries and support contact matrix technical support team